love strawberries. La, la, la. What's up guys, today we've got a very special one ahead of us. This episode is all about absolute vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla? Vanilla. Today we're gonna to make you an amazing and outstanding cocktail, like a midsummer <laughs> cake. Think Eaton mess, think summer times in England. I'm also gonna show you how to make strawberry chong, three, three, oh, 390, what's half of that? A nice little tip that's gonna to help to impress your guests. Three, no, I need to figure out my maths now. Whatever. So let's get into this. I'm Rico, this is Absolute Drinks with Rico. Let's I cannot work under these conditions. <laughs> Let's get into it. Absolute vanilla has those hints of ice cream and creamy vanilla-ness. You can beat it when it comes to that. But what we're gonna do is gonna pair it with a nice little bit of strawberries. Think strawberries and cream, think Eaton mess, think summer times in England. I'm also gonna give you a nice little tip of how to make some great syrups which are full and fresh of fruit. These are called chongs. It's very traditional in Korea. Are you ready? You ready? Let's get into it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this trunk. First up, strawberries. We're gonna need some sugar, a chopping board, along with a knife, a nice little bowl, and we're gonna need a container to store them in. I just got a little plastic one. So first up, let's chop up these strawberries and then we can weigh them out. We're gonna do no cooking. There's gonna be no heat whatsoever. This means we're gonna get those crisp, fresh flavors of strawberry. Just a nice, rough dice. Although we're making a strawberry chong right now, traditionally it's made with quite a sour plum in Korea, but you can pretty much make it with anything, guys. If it contains some form of liquid, then we can make it into a syrup or a chong. Boom, boom. Okay, so guys, we've just chopped up all our strawberries now. I'm gonna take up one more piece of equipment that we need, which is a scale. Make sure this works first. Ah, batteries. <laughs> Very simple kitchen scale. And the reason we're using this is because we wanna make sure we have equal parts of sugar to fruit ratio. So we got 171 grams of strawberries here. No, we don't. That's how heavy the bowl is. Mm. <laughs> Get your hands right in. What we got? 339 grams of strawberries. We need to add 339 grams of sugar, but we're actually gonna do this in two different halves. We're first gonna add half the amount. I need to figure out my maths now. Three, three, 390, that's 150. Three, no, three, 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 three nine. 217. 217. No, it's 550, but don't worry about that. Good? We can cut it together. Nice. <laughs> We're gonna shake this up. So what we've done now, we've mixed up the sugars and we've mixed up the strawberry. What the sugar's gonna start to do is rake down the actual fruit and it's gonna start to release all the juices. So all we're gonna have to do is get this in here without spilling anything. They don't call me the spill king for nothing. I'm just gonna use this pestle and mortar just because I wanna push everything down. What we need to do is make sure that none of the fruit actually sticks up. Hence, why we have this large sugar cap now. Leave this at room temperature for around about an hour. Then we can stick it in the fridge and we can leave it in the fridge for up to a week, maybe three weeks. It all depends upon the strawberries. Traditionally, when we make chong, you make it with a very hard, very sour, quite underripe plum but these strawberries are extremely ripe. So you can see that it's already starting to take an effect. And to be honest, if you just wanted to use the syrup, this is gonna be ready overnight. And I'm gonna prove it to you with a little bit of TV magic right now. So let me, boom. We've got two little batches here for you. Both of these were made last night. I chopped these strawberries up a little bit larger and I chopped these ones a little bit smaller. And you can see this one's been a lot quicker in extracting all of its juices and it will last pretty much indefinitely. It's a preserved fermented product. I'm gonna strain both of them out and then we'll give it a little, uh, little taste test, shall we? One glass bowl, one sieve, and then we're just gonna pour it that way. Mm -mm -mm. Already you can smell those fresh aromas of the strawberries. Rich, vibrant red. Should we give it a little taste? Elise, you tell me if it's good. I'm kind of nervous, guys. This is big. Oh, fancy on the back of the hand. How's that? 
This is a fresh flavor bomb. We're actually gonna pair that with some vanilla and make kind of like a strawberries and cream highball. Oh yeah. Which is heat in summer nostalgia for myself anyway. We've already got our vodka. We've already got our chong. Already got a little soda water because I'm also gonna be using that. But first up, the last bit of prep we've got to do. You know what this reminds me of? Big red subscribe button. Subscribe. Let's not mess around. We've been talking about this too much. Let's start making this drink already. So I'm gonna get straight into it, grab some lemons, juice away, and make this drink. Chop these lemons in half, a fine strainer. Take three. Perfect. So we're just gonna juice two lemons, good to go. Get your measuring equipment, the jigger, nice little highball glass. Always use your cheapest ingredient first. Our lemon juice, freshly squeezed, and we're gonna want 25 ml of lemon juice going straight in. Next up, we wanna take that chong, and we want 20 ml, followed up with the queen, absolute vanilla. Yeah. Absolute vanilla, and we want 45 ml. All we're gonna do now is ice up. We're just gonna give this a nice little stir. Spill King is here. And then we're just gonna take nice big zests. And finally, we're just gonna take some soda water, just to top it off, get those nice lemon oils zested all over, and then pop it in. Very, very easy drink to put together. A little bit of prep with the chong. You gotta juice some lemons, it's not really that hard. Sublime Ooh. flavors of strawberry and cream. I'm gonna make another one so Elise can get on board. Never drink alone. I see my masterpiece is complete. It is indeed, babes. Please, have a little taste. I'm not even making this up. I would lie to you, because you're my good friend. She would, she does a lot. But this is fire. That flavor of vanilla really punches through. Vanilla, tomato, tomato, it's delicious. Potato, patatis. Come on, Frankie, baby. Oh, should I test this? Please do. Right. Before we talk, this is Frank, also known as Camera Guy 2. Frank, tell me what you think. How are you feeling? This was great. <laughs> we call it midsummer. Do you know what midsummer is? Don't leave me hanging, Frank. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like a midsummer cake. Frank, get back to work. So we did it, guys. Not only did we make a strawberry chong, we also showed you what drink to make with that, the fantastic strawberries and cream highball. Mm, and I challenge you guys to make this at home. If you do make it at home, take pictures and hashtag that absolute drinks. Play around with all our flavors and play around with the type of chong that you're making. This has been it. Don't forget to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. I am out. This has been Rico with Absolute Drinks. So long and young.